nails. So, as you can see, I've had a little minor change to my look. And by minor, I mean completely. Complete overhaul of change. The eyebrows are different. The hair's completely different. Kind of feeling it. I wanted to go for something kind of like a fall kind of hairdo, I guess. So this hair change was just kind of like, I don't know, just a last minute decision and then I just kind of went through with it. I never really thought that I'd been making this change because my other hair is so like kind of signature to me and I don't know, I've had it for like two years, nearly like two and a half. So I never really thought I was going to change that, I always wanted to kind of keep it the same. But yeah, just spur of the moment decision and just completely changed my whole appearance basically. <laughs> um, I just get kind of bored easily. Before I had that other hairdo, I literally just used to change my hair all the time. Like every other week or every other month I'd have a new hairstyle, new colour, just completely change all the time. And then even though I was doing new stuff all the time, that kind of got boring. Like it got boring being different all the time. I don't know how that works out. But then I found my last hairdo with all the like neon green and everything and I just loved it so I stuck to that for a while. But then I kind of got content with it, like everything just gets boring after a bit. So this is my new hair. So I've got orange, pink, and then like a kind of pinky purple. And then this dark purple. All of my dyes were from Arctic Fox. Literally, Kristen Leanne just keeps my hair looking good all the time. So defo go check them out. And yeah, if you want to see this kind of new look and have a little chat, then keep watching. So first things first, I'm going to prime my face. I'm using the HD primer from NYX. And on top of that, just in like kind of areas where my pores are and a bit on my forehead, anywhere that I want to look matte, I'm going to use the Angel Veil vale primer. I like using the HD one first because I feel like it kind of um, colour corrects my skin a little bit. It just makes it look kind of less red. It does have a little green tinge to it. So yeah, I think it does actually cancel out the redness. The Angel Veil vale one, I'm just kind of putting in areas where I want my skin to look smooth and kind of have a more like matte finish. So now I'm all primed. I'm gonna colour correct underneath my eyes get rid of all this darkness. My old palette looks like this because I'm hitting pan on all my favourite colours. I still use this one but I need to open this to get out that salmon colour because it's my favourite. I get the salmon colour, pop it under my eyes. I just use my finger to like pat it on and then I'll blend it in with a beauty blender in a minute. And then this kind of like lavender purple colour I'm going to put just in this section here it kind of brightens up the skin, so I just like to do it just as kind of like an added highlight, I guess. Bye! Bye! And that was scary. <laughs> was it? Then to blend all of this out, just using my trusty beauty blender as usual. For the foundation today, I'm going to use the Naked Skin in 0.5 from Urban Decay. This is actually the first time I've ever tried this foundation, so... Let's see how it goes. It's a really good match actually. Because I didn't see this in store. I just kind of winged it and ordered it online. Which, you know, is not all the, always the best thing to do. If you've noticed, like, my skin's cleared up quite a lot as well. So I'm not having to, like, wear as much foundation recently. Which is, like, an actual godsend. There was a point where I was literally just wearing, like, concealer all over my face. Because my skin was, like, so bad. But I've been using some Nip and Fab products and honestly, like, life changing. Like, as soon as I get paid, I'm going to buy, like, way more stuff from them because I've noticed a massive change in my skin and I've only been using the products for, like, two weeks. Before that, I did use a skincare brand called Radical and they were really, really good as well. But they were, like, a lot more expensive. 
Um, so it's not something that I would be able to like afford to keep buying. Now I'm going to make a start on these brows. So I'm using the NYX Proof It Eyebrow Primer as usual. I have been like growing my eyebrows back a bit. I think you can probably see on camera. Like instead of being like little stumps, now they're like half brows. It's only like the tail that's not there. They do, they still do look really thin and like kind of growing back, but eventually I'm gonna try and like grow them in and then just make them look a bit more natural. Like I'll still wanna use color in them, but a bit more like how Kristen Leanne does her brows where you can see that it's real hair and it's still color, but it's just kind of like powder through the brows instead of being super like, like minor dead like carved out and stuff. I just wanna go for a bit more like softer approach, I guess. Oh my god, it seems like everything is changing, like my hair's changed, I'm growing my eyebrows back, what is happening? I'm still about your venom though, don't worry. I think sometimes when you've been doing the same thing for so long, you just literally just get so sick of your own appearance. And a change is good every now and again. Oh my god, I literally just picked up these pencils to like start doing my brows. So this is actually the first time that I've done my makeup since my hair's been like this. I've literally only just done it. Um, so I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to be using on my brows. I have found some like matte Kiko pencils that I brought a while ago. So I'm going to give them a bash and then see what they're like. Yeah, I actually really like this pencil so far. It'll look better when um, I've put some dark purple shadow through it. I've then got this kind of like darkish pink one that I'm putting in. Oh my god, this literally feels so weird. I'm so used to doing my eyebrows the other way. Who even am I right now? Feels like there's actually loads of purple through my hair. I might make the majority of my brows like pink. Still hasn't really sunk in that I've like completely changed my hair. Growing my eyebrows back is literally so hard. Like the temptation to shave them off is just so strong every day. I think for the front of my brows I'm gonna try this really like neon stargazer shadow. Then I'm gonna go in with the pink and the purple from this Morphe palette. I'm actually really, really excited at the minute because after this weekend, it's London Fashion Week. Um, guess who's working on a show? Me! Since I started doing makeup, this has always been like a massive dream of mine. Because I kind of, I want to get into like fashion and avant-garde work and editorial. And, you know, obviously like fashion week is like the mecca for doing that. So, I'm literally so, so excited and so grateful to be asked. The lead artist of the show is Michelle Webb. And... Yeah, I'm just so, just so grateful that she asked me to do it. I'm so excited. I also watched Stranger Things the other day, like literally all in one sitting. Let's talk about how good that was. Oh my God, into it. Basically everyone has been going on about Stranger Things for so long. So I was like, oh my God, I'm really missing out here. So eventually, sat down, watched the whole thing, one after the other, absolutely loved it, because I'm obsessed with like 80s music, so oh, it was just heaven for me, there was just so much good music in it, like Clash, Joy Division, I'm sure there was a bit of the Smiths in there, it was just awesome, really really loved it, oh my god, my favourite concealer brush died on me the other day. Just all the like bristles were coming out and stuff. And then I went to Sally's to go and buy bleach for my hair and they had these Royal and Langnickel Moda collection on sale for like 150. So I was like, hell yeah. They had this one and this one. And I love the fact that it was gonna suit my new hair so I had to buy them. I'm gonna use something else that I've never tried before today the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I didn't know it came like this, I thought it was like a squeezy tube. Maybe it's been changed. I'm trying to think of other exciting things that I'm doing this month that I can talk to you about. Um, oh actually, I'm going to London soon to film with Lou Tisdale. 
so that'll be really fun. Um, but mainly I'm like just working on Halloween stuff at the minute. You will not be disappointed because I know I've been kind of AWOL for a while and I've not been able to get up a weekly video but Halloween will make up for it. That's all I shall say. Oh my god, I just feel so different now I've got my eyebrows on. <laughs> just kind of mapping it out with this pencil first. After Halloween I want to get back into like bringing out like quite a lot of videos um, so I kind of want to have your input in it and see what you would actually want to see. Like I'm going to still try and do like creative tutorials after Halloween but I also want to get into like not so much like vlogging but kind of getting it into being a channel where more than just makeup happens. I've been thinking about this idea for a while because there's so much stuff that I keep seeing going on in like the world and the way people are treating each other and just things that are really really starting to like piss me off and I'm not really like an angry person or anything and I don't really feel like I want to start doing rants but I think I'm gonna have like a little segment on my channel that's kind of like a healthy open discussion about things because there's certain things at the minute that are just really starting to piss me off and I just feel like it bothers everyone but no one says anything about it everyone just kind of turns a blind eye and if we all keep doing that nothing will ever change and nothing will ever get better and I don't I don't really want it to be preachy or anything like that because I'm not that kind of person but I think it would be good to kind of like maybe educate people a little more on some things and I don't even know if that's what like people would want to see but I just feel like if you've got a kind of platform then you should maybe I don't know help educate people and generally just like make the world a better place because yeah there's lots of things that are really winding me up at the minute and I feel like everyone is being affected and nobody seems to say anything. I want my channel to be really like fun and lighthearted and never really too serious but I also want it to be a kind of like safe place where people can talk about like sexuality and I don't know just other issues. kind of want to be like your big sister on YouTube. All I'm using for these shadows is just the Morphe Picasso palette as usual. Between this and the Sugar Pill Pro palette. It's very rare that I use many other bright eyeshadows. I actually tell a lie, I also use the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and I also use a bit of Source Box Cosmetics as well. I kind of feel like a little sunset queen. You know what, I just love doing a cut crease. It's just one of my favourite eyeshadow looks ever. And ultimately you don't even need to be that neat because you just cut half of it with concealer anyway which is great for me because I'm not really a neat worker. Oh yeah so as I was saying earlier but then kind of got distracted by something as usual. Is there anything on this channel you would actually like to see? Doesn't have to be makeup related, um, could be anything really. I just want to know like your kind of thoughts and opinions and what like you guys would actually want to see. Seeing as though you are the ones that watch this shit. Next I'm going to go in with this Peaches Disco Pigment. Are you seeing this? Holy shit. Oh my god, yes. Because this is the first time I've done my makeup with this hair, I'm going to put my good lashes on. These are the scarlet ones from Huda Beauty. So now my lashes are on, I'm going to tight line the upper waterline. Then for my actual liner, I'm going to use Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper as usual. If you have ever tried a liner that's better than this, let me know because I don't think it's possible. That's how good it is. I actually haven't brought any new makeup in quite a while. Does anyone have anything that you literally like, oh my god, you need to buy? Because I saw the Too Faced holiday stuff and oh my god, 100% gonna buy some of that. It looks really good. I want the one that has like the three palettes in it. I think one's called like peppermint something and Jesus Christ it looks so good. Okay my eyes are done for now I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of foundation 
just to cover up anywhere that I've kind of made a mess. Today I'm also going to be using the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. Again, something that I've never used. Because I'm now working at NYX, we do get like a staff discount for all kind of L'Oreal brands. So that's why I'm using quite a bit of Urban Decay at the minute. And I will probably be buying a lot more of their products as well. Um, I always hear amazing stuff about them, it's just that like I never really bought them. But now I will! Oh yeah, so far I'm into this concealer. I love it when a concealer is like thick. I really like this applicator as well. I feel like it gives me more product than my NARS one does. The NARS one's really nice and thick but sometimes I feel like it do not put a lot on my skin. I don't really need to go back in with any but I always just pop a little bit right here. Baking as usual. Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder to do this. I kind of press it into my skin first and then I'll leave like quite a visible layer on there. The really white bit is Ben Nye Neutral Set. And then the next bit that I kind of set my face with is from Face Attila, Atelia, Altila, and with this powder, I literally just push it into my skin. Even though my skin's cleared up a bit, I still go for that kind of full powdery coverage. Once I'm done with the bake, I just brush off the excess. I've been using this brush from Lily England UK to do this, it's just really soft. As usual for my contour, I'm going in with this shade from Kat Von D, blending it out and then I pop this shade just kind of like right in this little section of my face. You always want the darkest colour to be like at the kind of base of the contour because obviously that would be where the face would be like more sucked in. That's that's literally all I do for my contour, like, I don't go nuts or anything. All I'm going to do now is, with this palette from Freedom, I'm going to use these two together as like a bronzer. Just kind of blends my contour into my skin. Then I take these two illuminating blushes, just mix them together, and I pop that just kind of on my apples and my cheeks. You can hardly notice that I've got blusher on. But I just like it, I think it just really blends everything together. For my highlight, I'm going in with the Strober Genius palette. I start off with this one and I just apply that to the highest points of my face. And my Cupid bow, don't forget that. I mix these two together and I kind of dust that underneath where I've placed my highlighter kind of into my contour. And then I go in with this purple one which is it ends up looking like a silvery tone on the skin and I just go back over the highest points with that one. Then after I've done that I just take my beauty blender with whatever's left on it and just kind of go around underneath where I've done my contour. I think I'm going for a kind of ombre. I've got Kat Von D Bauhaus in the centre which I've just placed really badly. And then I'm going to go in with NYX Full Throttle in the shade Locked around the edges. These Full Throttle lipsticks are like really good. They're not liquid to matte, they're just like a normal matte lipstick, but they just seem to dry and then they just do not come off. So that is pretty much it for this new look. Don't forget to leave me comments down below on what videos you want to see on this channel. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!